Since Harry Potter saved the wizarding world from the forces of evil, many have wondered what happened next. Unfortunately, what happened next is what happens to most heroes over time. Potter grew up. He became jaded, entitled, arrogant. He ditched his cute British accent and round glasses in exchange for an uptown twang and $700 shades. He even began using his magical gifts irresponsibly. Now, for the first time, is newly released audio from one of many depositions Harry Potter gave that nearly cost him his license to practice magic. I'm still waiting for an answer to my question. We already gave you an answer, Mr. Riley, which is my client doesn't recall. Are you afraid to give me a straight answer, Mr. Potter? Don't address my client, Mr. Riley. Do you have a god complex? This is unacceptable. Unacceptable! No, no. Let him address me. Harry! No, no. It's about time I got to give some answers here. Stop, stop typing. Stop typing. This is off the record. The question is, do I have a god complex? Miss Granger Weasley says yes. Which makes me wonder if this muggle has any idea as to the kind of grades one has to receive in Hogwarts to be accepted into Gryffindor. Or if you have the vaguest clue as to how talented someone has to be to lead a Quidditch team. I have an 11-inch long wand with a phoenix feather at its core. I am board certified in potions and the defense of the dark arts. I am the first in my class to successfully mount and ride a hippogriff, and I am never, ever sick at sea. So I ask you, when someone goes into that chapel and they fall on their knees and they pray to God that their wife doesn't get attacked by a dementor or their daughter doesn't bleed to death from that basilic bite or that their mother doesn't suffer acute neurotrauma from a killing curse whispered to them by he who shall not be named, who do you think they're praying to? Now go ahead and read your Bible, muggle. And you go to your church, and with any luck, you might win the annual raffle. But if you're looking for God, he was on platform nine and three quarters at Hogsmeade Station on September 1st, and he doesn't like to be second-guessed. You ask me if I have a God complex? Let me tell you something. I am God. <laughs> <laughs> You've got a real winner here, Charlie. Just call my office in the morning. We'll come to some sort of settlement agreement. Oh, it gets better. What? Well, uh, we talked to a uh, goblin bartender who works at a pub called the Leaky Cauldron. Why don't you ask God how many glasses of butterbeer he had before he uses dark magic to try and deliver Miss Granger Weasley's baby? <sighs> well, ten points for Gryffindor. This is the Simplistic Reviews Podcast. They talk movies. They talk TV. They don't talk out of their ass, even half as much as that dumb fuck, Bill Maher. I'm your announcer Julie. Announcing that Bill Maher is a walking bag of bullshit. Here are three hosts, who actually aren't stupid enough to spit on Stanley's grave. Are you noticing a theme here? Matthew Stewart. DJ Valentine, and Justin Polizzi. Hey kids, this is the Simplistic Reviews Podcast. For show purposes, I'm DJ Valentine, and I'm joined by a couple of guys who know exactly where to find every fantastic beast on the planet. Chief of Justice, Matthew Stewart, and Justin Polizzi, MD. How you doing? Fantastic beast. I, it's okay. funny, because before we started the show, fantastic we were talking about... Beast. We were talking about oh, oh. Kathleen Turner for some reason. You want to? You want to? Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, I mean, we're talking. <laughs> do you, about do your Kathleen Turner, yeah. Justin? Go ahead, do your Kathleen. Uh, okay, I'll do, do my Kathleen Turner. <laughs> Hi, I'm Kathleen Turner. She sounds like she's from Canassi. Canassi. What do you want to know about me? <laughs> she's from Canassi. <laughs> Canassi. What was it like? What was it like to be Jessica Rabbit's? Uh, Fantastic. <laughs> How was it to have sex with a Red's rabbit? Red's my favorite color. <laughs> Who has the more raspy voice, Kathleen Turner or Kirstie Alley? Oh. Right oh, now? I... <laughs> <laughs> I guess flip the coin. Back then, One's now. a nut and one isn't. <laughs> pick, pick your guess. 
<laughs> Which what? is weird. Is that we were we were, you were? What'd you uh, reference her to? Uh, I can't even remember. I think I you, uh, you referenced. Oh her no, to we were talking about Christopher Simpsons. Reeves, and I said she was in a movie yeah. with Christopher Reeves and Burt Reynolds called <laughs> Switching. She's Channels. from Springfield, Missouri. Really? Oh wow! Well, Did you know like, that? Got like all good, like all good things. <laughs> all good things are from Springfield. All good Missouri. things are from Springfield, Missouri. Especially Chesterfield. Oh, I smoke a bunch of Chesterfield. <laughs> I used to yeah. I used to smoke parliaments, but I gave it up. <laughs> parliaments, <laughs> what a, what an old person cigarette. <laughs> a lot of people, what's that? Uh, that uh, no one knows what that is. It's a, it's there's there's a one eighty year old man out there right now going. I know what it yeah. is. Yeah, oh, I smoke parliaments every day. <sighs> I remember my last. They, 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 they taste so good. It was with that that uh, colored woman. Oh that yeah, that colored <laughs> woman. Hey, come here, come here. What are you? What are you? Come are you here. Married? What come here, what do you live alone? You live you know, Hey honey, you live alone. You live, <laughs> Kathleen Turner, get away from me. Get, who who would uh who would be playing Rodney Dangerfield in the remake of Caddyshack? Oh fuck. Me, Kathleen like, Turner. Just drop that on my fucking lap. That's a fucking huge It's question. me, Kathleen Turner. <laughs> Who's the I'm gonna play <laughs> I'm gonna play that role. I'm called Rod Ron the Dangerfield. Rod the Oh god no I get no respect. Hey Sick. everyone, let's all get, get laid. laid. Look, there's an oriental. <laughs> Look at that nice carpet. <laughs> Look at that carpet. Look at that oriental carpet. I want to eat. I want to eat that carpet. <laughs> she might have. Uh, Do you have a, a liquor license? <laughs> you know what's funny? I, I, you just dropped a really quick question. Who is this generation's Rodney Dangerfield? Who was a snappy... In jail you know? because he couldn't have another Rodney Dangerfield anymore because... Oh, yeah. Of, All of his jokes. You know, reasons. Well, a lot of reasons, actually. <laughs> and it, it was funny because I was um, watching an episode. Of, what was I watching the other day? Um, and they just, like, threw in... Uh, we asked the Oriental. And I was like, ooh. <laughs> you can't say that anymore. What? Ooh. <laughs> Couldn't say Asian, it's like, huh? It's like an old show that you were watching. It was called God, I, I Love Lucy. <laughs> Lucy, you have Lucy. a lot of Orientals to do. You couldn't it do that some... anymore either. No, you no. can't do anything. You can't anymore. do that. <laughs> I mean, again, we we we've kind of discussed this a little far too far these days. Mm. But <laughs> even even something that big was it's amazing. Yeah. Well, speaking of things, I mean, what's his name just died? Uh, what uh, Bernardo Bellucci? He just died. What are you yeah, Mister. Uh, Mister. Uh, hey, M- Marjorie. Sh- quiet. Let's do a rape scene. <laughs> oh, let's get some butter in here. Oh, that guy. Oh, oh that guy. Oh, that guy. Oh, SpongeBob died, didn't he? Also he SpongeBob? died too. Yeah. Oof. I mean, is, is all, the creator no. of SpongeBob or the voice of SpongeBob died? No, the creator. Yeah, the creator. Okay, okay. the voice is still Jordan. kicking around. I, I forget the guy's yeah. name. Who does the do you think he now. was a creep? Is it Billy West? Oh yeah, no. Billy West. No, it's not it's Billy West, West, is it? Billy West is the voice. Yeah, I think he, I think Billy West was the voice of. He's Spongebob. also that fucking Transformer in that shitty fucking movie, uh, Dark Futurama. Uh, no, 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 um, what's yeah, the second yeah. one called? Is it Dark in the Moon? I can't Dark fucking remember. Moon? Dark Side of the Moon. Revenge oh, of the Fall. Revenge West of the, the Fall. Oh. Sorry, sorry. Oh. I got my shitty Transformers mixed up. Well, they all kind of run together. <laughs> yeah, do. Shitty Fuck Transformers, you. racist Transformers. Might not be Billy sexist West. Sexist Transformers. Oh no, Tom. Kennedy. Oh, Tom Kenny. Yeah, okay. Kenny. Yeah. Tom, Tom, Tom Kenny. Kenny. Tom Kenny. Tom <clears throat> Kenny. Sorry, all you uh, fucking nerds out there that are probably not listening to a show. They're like, it's fucking Tom Kenny. <laughs> Is that Kathleen Turner again? Call yeah. Hey, yeah, it's I, Kenny. I, Tom Kenny. I, I was the voice of SpongeBob. <laughs> uh, no, you weren't, Kathleen. Who lives yeah, in I a was. pineapple under the sea? <laughs> SpongeBob SquarePants. Hey guys, Kathleen Turner's in the new Aqua movie. <laughs> What's yeah. that Aqua film? What's that? What's she plays the ocean. Aqua movie. Velva. What is that? <laughs> the water's voiced by Kathleen Turner. Whoosh, called, whoosh. Called, I'm <laughs> in the water's fine. <laughs> You're wet now. You're wet. I'm the tide. <laughs> Jokes on you. You left your wallet. You in. like brine. <laughs> What are you, the ocean? Because you didn't, you didn't wave goodbye to me. <laughs> Surf's up. God damn, your hair is moving beautifully. <laughs> In I'm my a half pipe. <laughs> Do you use LA looks? <laughs> is that a thing still? <laughs> I don't know. I'm water. <laughs> I've been under the sea for years. Under the sea. 
That's me oh, the on live... the <laughs> The live I'm action. See. That's the live me. action. <laughs> Little Mermaid, we should do that. Oh, God. She should be Ursula. Oh, fuck. We oh, just oh, cast yeah, a fucking yeah, movie. Oh, yeah. shit. We just did it. I'm taking your voice. <laughs> let's redub yeah. that movie. Oh, yes. please. Let's do it. A fucking boat hit me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ow, my fucking stomach. <laughs> You pierced me. You pierced me right through the gullet. <laughs> Kathleen Turner was a looker, though. I remember her romancing the stone. Well, romancing the stone. She was the shit. She was the shit in War of the Roses. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> I remember. <laughs> I had a mirror at one time. <laughs> Michael Douglas has gone through them all, man. Michael Douglas is uh, what? He had, he had Demi Moore. He had Sharon Stone. Man is a god. I mean, who, Glenn Douglas. Close. He's going through them all, man. He's Kathleen Turner a couple times. I mean, HPV's not going to get there. that guy down. <laughs> <laughs> Folks, oh, sorry, I didn't get that. Can you do that again? <laughs> <laughs> Folks, HPV's Michael not going to get said, me down. <laughs> Michael Douglas, the joke that Matthew just made there, Michael HPV. Douglas said he got no, HPV. No, that's a callback because <laughs> we talked about that way back in like podcast fucking 20? <laughs> 18 or some yeah. shit. Where Michael Douglas got HPV of the throat, he said, by yeah. going down on his ex-wife, I think that's what he said. He liked carpet. Not his ex-wife, his current wife. I think, what, I think Catherine Zeta-Jones? Yeah. I think yeah. So. That's what crazy pussy will do to you. <laughs> it gives you cancer. <laughs> the mark of Zorro. Entrapment is what they do to criminals who try to eat you out. <laughs> Eat that oil to cook. Folks, there's a movie called Entrapment starring Sean Connery and Cass. That's right. I forgot our, our audiences are a bunch yeah, of. Yeah, you gotta remember, nobody's seen Entrapment <laughs> in the uh, last Bain 30 Ryan? years. <laughs> nobody's watched films since 1999. And I'm almost here. certain it's th that movie's 30 years old. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's close. It's gotta be like at least. It was like ninety nine, wasn't it? I think it was like nineties. It was it was post because it wasn't the I remember like the millennium being like a big sell, uh, yeah, plot point. I, I want to say it's like ninety eight, ninety seven, man. Yeah, mm. I, I just remember the if color only we had a way. What is that thing what that the people we use? Do? Uh, the see. library? Should I just go to the library right now? Go go to the library. Go to your library. Just go, go to your local to library. Go Books, to your check local out. library. It's gonna go through his library. Nineteen ninety nine. Nineteen ninety nine. Oh wow! So it's, it's almost two hours. I don't remember. So, being almost, almost so it's about to get the twenty. We should do a commentary. Twenty year mark of twenty the year anniversary entrapments because it's in April. <laughs> Crap! Half from Zeta Jones, just the thieves. <laughs> he, uh, the from the director of Copycat. The and copycat. Oh, God. Sigourney Weaver in Harry Connick Jr.'s yep. copycat. Yeah. <laughs> oh, if you like boy. Harry Connick Jr. in Independence Day, oh, get ready for copycat. <laughs> You're going to wish that fucking alien killed him. <laughs> you don't like copycat, DJ? Spe yeah. What? <laughs> Speaking of copycat, you can check out Justin's review of copycat on simplisticreviews.net. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, look at that plug. I, I like it. <laughs> we just we just did that in... in, in October. Uh, October. It's it's almost, <laughs> it's almost new. It's almost new. It's almost like new. new. Just like new. Uh, <laughs> it holds up, I think. Entrapment is what Simplistic Review does to his listeners. <laughs> it's true. That's very true. <laughs> You're in it for the long run now, folks. Sorry, guys. We got you. Time for a segment that questions the very nature of plausibility. It's... Believable or bullshit. Believable or bullshit. This is the segment where I posit a theory of something that may happen in the future involving bullshit. the entertainment industry. And these two blokes, blokes, uh, let me know if it's believable or bullshit. Are you guys ready? <clears throat> believable. Right, yeah, or bullshit. I'm killing it. All right, here let's, we go. Let's First do one. this. The live-action Lion King will be the film that finally knocks Avatar off the top spot for highest-grossing film of all time. Believable, 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 or, 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 or bullshit. bullshit, shit, bullshit, shit, bullshit, shit, bullshit. I, I, I believe that. You think so? You think it's gonna get two yeah, points? Yeah, I still the don't know doing? how that. I still don't know how that uh, is. Is is the Lion King like the most like beloved Disney <clears throat> movie of all time? It's terrible. It's you don't like the Lion King? Wait, 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 stop the show. You don't like the Lion King? I mean, I, I, mean, I prefer no. Hamlet. I'm talking about the other movie. Oh, what, with the oh, Avatar? Yeah, Avatar. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? Shat I like Lion King. Shatatar. Shatatar, yeah. You got to remember, Sh Avatar didn't like didn't make a lot of money opening weekend. It was just out 
forever. It was forever. <laughs> it was, it was out out for like a year. Everywhere. Everywhere for, where for a year in 3D. Yeah. That's why it's two point whatever the fuck it is five billion dollars some weird crazy number seven I mean, billion never dollars? I mean don't underestimate the ability of blue people. Oh, fuck. Well, tell that to I the Smurfs movie. I mean, well, why why didn't uh, how much money did like Jungle Book make? Oh, I guess, I like, I I guess it was Jungle Book probably Jungle Book. I guess isn't as beloved as Lion King though. Well, Jungle Book no. was uh, Jungle Book make a shitload of money. I think it was like nine hundred to a billion dollars. I'm not. A, I, I want to say nine hundred. You know, million. a billion dollars isn't even like a big deal. If Venom's making a fucking billion dollars, so sure, we're gonna get there. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. oh we're, it's coming. Oh, oh, you fucking haters out there! They're like, fuck Venom. It's like Venom's like. <laughs> <laughs> That's, that's not how that's Venom not, laughs. That's uh, a, like, <laughs> he's the fucking Joe Pesci. <laughs> yeah. yeah. What a, I don't know. I mean, I, 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 I don't know. Breaks are over two billion dollars. I don't know. Yeah, I think it's 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 definitely it's gonna be close. Everybody good. seemed to lose their fucking shit over it. The trailer. People were like, oh. <laughs> because even Beauty and the Beast, which was literally a shot for shot, uh, the original. And this is his too. This right? is his too. Yeah. yeah. It just happens to have like. Like how how hard is that? The digital like effect out is hard. I don't know about the uh, you know yeah, making the story. The hard part is the CGI. Yeah, yeah. The, the hard parts. They're, they're still but, doing the hard part right now. They're probably still f- yeah. finishing off shit. But you have like you have a, a beginning, a middle, and end that's already told. You already know it's got the happen. stamp of you know approval it's that it's yeah. But, and, that, that didn't stop beating the bees, and I think that movie made a billion dollars easy. Yeah, but a billion dollars is like a million dollars now. It's easy to make a billion dollars now. I feel yeah, if you're a big, fuck, if you're a big fucking tentpole movie, if you don't make a billion dollars, you better fucking go back to your mom's. This is what I'll say. Mm, okay, Just it depends. Something. See that. It depends how the voice acting goes. Oh yeah, because they uh, didn't really do any voices in that they, trailer. They only showed one. Oh yeah, George, yeah fucking yeah, Mufasa. I mean, they, had, they had Mufasa, and it was basically like, "Hey, Simba, we don't even need him to do anything. We're just gonna take his voice from the cartoon, right? And <laughs> Which is a little." <laughs> Is that Which what they little... did? Is that what they did, or did they have him re uh, dub the lines? Or I'm going sure re- to start a rumor that that's what they did. <laughs> <laughs> Matthew spoiling his own rumor on the show. <laughs> Damn it! Ah! <laughs> he's Alex... still trying to figure this out, children. He's still trying. <laughs> he's to trying to Alex Jones is still works. upset at me right now. <laughs> <laughs> that's a but I was kind of joke, people. Yes, it is. I was kind of hoping at the end, like you get one extra voice or something, just one little line. I want to hear um, Chua tell a scar, though. I think that would be cool. Yeah, yeah. I, I want to hear I'm Donald sure that Glover start cool. rapping. <laughs> childish, childish yeah. Simbino. <laughs> Simbino, there you go. Childish <laughs> fucking... Simbino. Uh, it's a flaming keto. <laughs> It's going to be all that Billy Eckner money. That's where they're going to be getting Billy Eckner <laughs> money. Billy Eckner money. Wow. Yeah. yeah. He, he's what, Timon? He's Timon, I guess. Was, I think was... he's Timon. Yeah. The thing about Billy Eckner, I think he's funny, but he's not charismatic. And Nathan Do Lane's you? Timon is very charismatic. Like, you like him. Billy Eckner is kind of like. He's kind of like a shyster. You know what I'm saying? He's, yeah, you know, yeah. he's shyster. Not... Okay. <laughs> shyster. Like, he's trying to pull one over. Congratulations. <laughs> Word of the day. <laughs> I think the proper word was eggplants. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. Here we go. Uh, <laughs> Tom Hardy actually did Venom as a joke, but now that it has made $800 million, uh, he is horrified that he's now stuck on a contract to do sequels for it. <laughs> oh, like the president. Tom Hardy is in the Donald Trump scenario right now. <laughs> yeah. Is this true? I, I, believable or bullshit? What do you think? Oh, I, I'm. I could believe it. Is he horrified? I don't think he's. I think he's probably like. I say that's bullshit. I think he's pretty happy that it's making money. You think he's happy? Huh? You think he's happy? Because yeah. he's gonna keep doing whatever the fuck he wants to do anyway. But he's kind of like, well, I guess I'll go off this other money, mate. It's hard to read Tom Hardy because sometimes he just seems like he's like. It's hard to read that sometimes. It's hard to read that. Sometimes he's like he's. <laughs> <laughs> Where the fuck is Tom Hardy from? I don't even know. He's, I think he's from North London, I believe. I'm pretty sure. That's uh, right. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, oh Tom, yeah. Tom, Tom, how do you feel about being in that Venom movie, Tom? <sighs> Fucking shit. <laughs> go, Money's get, good. go get me another tattoo. Money's good. I got, I got my dog. <laughs> he does have a dog. You do have a dog. I've seen the dog. It's a very nice dog. 
<laughs> See my wife. Oh, your wife is hot. <laughs> your wife is hot. <laughs> and I fuck men. <laughs> this is also facts. These are facts, folks. Tom Hardy did say this. Tom <laughs> Hardy said he would fuck a man. Is that it, 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 or has that. or has? <laughs> he was very unclear about that. <laughs> Guys, this is badass. I mean, it's 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 amazing. I, I, yeah, to be able to admit I, that, you know, I, I, I'm sure he probably did it more just for the money. I don't know if it was for the joke, but no. I, I, I give him credit no matter what. I mean, I can kind of believe that. I guess. If, if that, imagine if this makes more money than Dark Knight Rises. He's in Dark Knight Rises, which made I'm, I'm assuming like one point something billion, and Venom makes more money than it. The movie where he's that's like, impossible. <laughs> that's impossible. No. <laughs> Uh, okay. <clears throat> I, I, I don't know. I mean, uh, it's amazing that we're talking about movies making 1.2 billion dollars. Yeah. Well, yeah. The, the Dark Knight Rises. That was a while ago. That was like what, eight years ago? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Dark Knight was Rises was like, wasn't that one of our? It's amazing how long it's been since uh, Warner Brothers put out a Batman film. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> That's impossible. Well, there was that Batman v Superman Dawn of oh, Justice Come again? Uh, movie. <clears throat> I'm sorry. Da- Did you Donna, say something? Uh, Dawn I, of I, I, I think I had a stroke there. I'm sorry. Um, here's the next one. <clears throat> you guys ready? Mm. David Harbour's Hellboy will be better than Ron Perlman's Hellboy. Believable. Yes. Wow. Wow. He said believable what? off rip. I saw the uh, the Empire's. Uh... Look good. He looks exactly uh, the same, image. though. It's like it's literally the same. Uh, <laughs> a little bit yeah, there's some Perlman's differences, pretty, though. I'm going to call bullshit on that. Oh, yeah. Because Ron Perlman's got that fucking... I mean, David I'm not going to call him. bullshit. I don't know. I was just watching Ron Perlman what? in Blade 2 oh, earlier he's great in that today. Movie. I was he's like, God damn, he's good. He's great in that film. Well, here's 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 how I'll, I'll back this up. Okay. Uh, Ron had a really lovable yeah. character. Oh, you think Harbour's going to scare the shit out of you, isn't he? No, yeah, I think it's going to be the complete oh, opposite. Plus, I believe it's R-rated. Isn't that what the article said? I don't know. Is it? You guys are going to tell me. I'm not 100% uh, sure. I don't really... Yeah, I heard there, it was going to be as close to the source material as possible, and it's going to get violent and bloody, so... Um... It should be. It's fucking hell, boy. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Ron yeah. Ron did a great job. They're great movies, but Ron was very belovable. Like, I'd let my children... Like, if I had children... Like, he's like the I'd uncle you invite over. Them. Be like, oh, it's yeah. Uncle Hellboy here. You know, hey, where it's I, like, uh, play with hey, wait for your fucking Uncle Hellboy now. <sighs> Can I play so, with your kids, man? <laughs> not to say it's worse. It's just you. Your question was: Do you think it's going to be better? Better, yeah, Is it going to yeah, be yeah, better? Is yeah. he going to be? I think better? it's going to be better because R-rated films usually of that material are better. Yeah. Uh, not necessarily. The Hellboy, his Hellboy might be better, but I don't know if the movie's going to be better because you remember you're now lacking Guillermo, Guillermo del Toro's but fucking it's, like it's Neil, creatures. It's Neil Marshall, though, I like Neil Marshall a lot. Yeah. yeah. Didn't Neil Marshall do fucking Stranger Tides with fucking Johnny Depp? Neil Marshall did he? I mean, I, I, all I know, Neil Marshall did fucking. Uh, no, that's Descent, Ron Marshall. Which wait. is fuck. Yeah, that's Rob Marshall. Rob Marshall, sorry, wrong Marshall, sorry, my bad. Yeah, wrong fucking Marshall, wrong mate. Wrong Marshall. He did. Um, <laughs> he did Dog Soldiers yeah, and he did Descent. Descent. Oh, okay. Oh, that, oh, that is dark. Oh, yeah, that's a dark the, the Descent. Yeah, and then he did okay, Doomsday, okay, right. which I think is a pretty underrated. He didn't do the second one, did he? he no, did he, only, he only did the first Descent. Uh, yeah. that, the so. first Descent's fucked, fucked up. Yeah, <laughs> Neil Marshall's up. fucking good, man. He's a yeah. fucking good director, and hopefully, he cares about the material. But I don't know, man. Uh, Harbor and Perlman. No, I mean, Perlman has the best line of fucking uh, with Blade Two. It's like, well. What my daddy said to my mom before he killed her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Pro, if you, guys, do yourself a favor. Watch Blade 2 again. Oh, Blade, yeah. Watch Blade 2 is great. Blade it's a great film. Keep Little talking Tom. to him, Billy. <laughs> He's fucking That's when Willie Snipes kind of still cared. He yeah. actually gave an effort as Blade. Watch the like first Blade two Blades, not the third one. Not the, he probably cares away. more now because he needs to. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he has true. no choice or he's going to go back to jail please let me be late please let me be late I'm sorry I'm sorry I'm sorry I'm sorry <laughs> I'm so sorry I'm so sorry. I'm, I'm sorry I'm sorry what I did to fucking everybody on the set of plate I'm okay. sorry Patton Oswald. I'm sorry David Goyer <laughs> I'm so sorry <laughs> I'm right, surprised you're saying sorry David Goyer you hate fucking David Goyer I do hate David Goyer I'm, I was being Wesley Snipes in that situation I do too yeah, David Goyer me everybody to you. I'm really I'm really shooting for that Passenger 57 sequel <laughs> That's the best line Wesley Snipes has ever had in a movie. And the movie Passion 57 uh, came out in 1991, I think. <laughs> I think. Uh, Wesley Snipes is captured by the police officers, and the police officers are trying to explain to him. 92. What 92. would you do okay. if you were me, uh, Passenger 57, Michael Cutter, I think his name is. 
And as he snipes, without hesitation, goes, if I was you, I'd kill myself. <laughs> One of the greatest lines ever. <laughs> well, that and bet on black. You know. oh, yeah, bet on black is cliche. Kill myself is great. <laughs> cliche? Nobody's ever said that but him. It's true. You can't even. <laughs> if you say bet on black, you can't even bet on black anymore. It's all past 57 reference. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> Can't even bet on black anymore. Here we go. Next one. John Favreau's Star Wars TV show will be so good, Star Wars fans will begin ignoring the films and flock to the shows. Believable. Believable. Or, or, or bullshit. 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 <laughs> you think they're always going to go to the movies? Always going to go to the movies. What if, it's like, like a heroin addict. What if, what if, what if like, J.J. Abrams, though I, I'm, a, I'm probably the one of the lone fans of J.J. Abrams, J.J. Abrams, what? like, shits the bed in episode nine, and then the fucking Mandalorian is, like, the fucking, it's like Game of Thrones with Star Wars. Mandalorian might be cool, but, I mean. Yeah. It's possible. He did that with, uh. Star Trek. Yeah. Well, remember, JJ's doing the, the, the movie, but John Favreau is doing a TV show. Yeah. Um, I don't really know. I, I uh, Your question, I say, is I would say bullshit mm. because no matter what, you're always going to go to the movies. Yeah, no matter what. No, no matter how bad the. Whatever Wars Star Wars was. is. It's it's absorbed into their bloodstream. Yeah, <laughs> which is fine. Hey, that's fine. I you mean, can have that's... two hours of a fucking Sith taking a shit, yeah, and people will still go North fucking Ball on no the toilet. What. It's like, it's like, <laughs> which might work. It, it might. Work. It might. <laughs> it might be I mean, a great hey, YouTube show. I got plenty of time, so if they want to hire me, I can take a shit for two. I can. Whew, yeah, this, I've sat, my, I've sat that up like grievous. Long. Star Wars characters <laughs> taking shits. I could see mm -hmm. Luke Skywalker right now trying to use the Force. Yeah, well, he kind of took a shit at the end of the, like, in the, the, the Last Jedi. He was taking a shit on that rock. Oh, he was. That. And, and everybody in the audience took a shit. And everyone's like, oh, <gasps> yeah. oh my shit! I, sh I kick, I kick shit down a fucking stairwell as I was leaving that fucking movie. Anyway, no um, matter what. What are you writing, Passenger Fifty Seven, <laughs> the sequel, DJ? <laughs> Always bet on the Jedi. <laughs> Always bet on Sith. <laughs> what would you do matter. if you were me, Kylo Ren? What would you do if you were me? kill myself? <laughs> I, kill my I kill my dad. I kill my dad. Kill, kill my, my, dad. My, my. Oh no! I already killed. Try to kill my dad. mom. <laughs> Kill my whole family. That's our that's our horrible Adam, Adam Driver impersonation. Yeah, it's like it sounds nothing like Adam Driver, but at the same time, it's like uh, we have to hold um, our nose and talk like that. Like, I was in a, I was in a Fight Club when I was younger. Hey, was he in a Fight Club when he was younger? He was. Yeah, um, he, he had an interview, um, some interview, and he said like, "Yeah, I, I was in a Fight Club because I'm a." It's believable. He seems like the kind of guy that would be in. a He fight seems club. like a type of motherfucker that when he was, I was in a Fight Club. He was in yeah. Fight. I think he was in Fight Club. <laughs> I think he was in that basement. He was just... I made soap. <laughs> he, he's rendered fat. Right, he's rendered the fat. <laughs> here's the next one. You guys ready? Okay. Jordan Peele's Candyman remake will be far far better than the Halloween remake. Believable. 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 Or, 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 or bullshit. Or, 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 the Halloween remake? The lame. Halloween remake? Yeah, the new one that just came well, out. Well, the Halloween, it wasn't really a remake. Uh, whatever yeah, the fuck, sequel. sequel, whatever the fuck it is. Reimagining. Is Candyman a remake or is it, yeah, what, yeah, what is it? I think it's a remake. I know Jordan Peele's have some, has some involved. I think he's either producing it or uh, directing it or writing or something. I would say it's probably going to be better. Yeah. Um, uh, Candyman, it's a fun movie to watch. It's good. The other ones it's are not uh, perfect. Farewell to the Flesh. <laughs> yeah. <it's, laughs> Day of the Dead. They really go uphill. Oh, oh yeah. They, nice. Yeah. <laughs> And then jump. That's a problem, you motherfucker. Only try to skate uphill. Candyman, get off of that ledge! Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> let's take let's get a quick little detour right now. What do you think is a worse? Do you think Candyman or Hellraiser? Oh, sequels? Hellraiser's got sequels are horrible. Oh, sequels? Well, there's been so many bad. Oh sequels. my god, Hellraiser <laughs> sequels are like fucking. Hellraiser like... two was fine. I like Hellraiser two. I like Hellraiser two. Hellraiser three was okay. What about the last Hellraiser that came out? The one in space. The one in space. The one in space. When you when you're talking about a horror franchise Ooh. and somebody brings up the one in space, I mean, yeah. the, only three of them have done it: uh. Jason, the Leprechaun, and fucking Hellraiser. Yeah, they were. In <laughs> you sure, there's only Hellraiser. three. I think so. I oh. don't think Freddy's uh. gone to space yet. Not yet. No, not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Don't it. say it won't he happen. Could do it. He could. Freddy in space. <laughs> Freddy in space. Oh, welcome to deep space, bitch. <laughs> How sweet space meat. Oh yeah. <laughs> 
shit! How We're sweet. pissing gold! It's, it's, <laughs> it's rights itself. It <laughs> writes itself. All right. I know yeah. I want to see this now. Yeah, I think I we'll ever get the Under Siege 3 sequel. So, so, you say Under Siege 3? Darker territory? <laughs> Dark, dog Darker. Darker. <laughs> Steven Darkest Seagal is in Russia. I really want He's in Jay Russia to get a medal. Let's take over that franchise. <laughs> Casey Ryback, you, you've turned traitor on your own country. It's like, uh, I was also a cop in New Orleans. Cook. Remember that? Yeah, remember that happened? That happened. Remember that happened? I had a TV show called Lawman. <laughs> that is a thing. I put down the law. I put down the law. I, 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 I had the law. I had the law. <laughs> Are you asleep right now, Steven? It's like, uh, uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, All right, uh, here oh, we go. Next. You gotta finish up, that chicken up. wing, <laughs> Catherine. Ca- Glimmer Man. Catherine, you gotta finish that chicken. Glimmer Man with Keenan Ivory Wayne. You ever seen that movie? <laughs> oh boy, yeah. <laughs> All right, here we go. Wake up, Steven <laughs> Steven Seagal has conversations with himself through a mirror. That's that's what the segment we just did. <laughs> he, he wakes was, up. It happens that day. quick. Remember Hard Target with Kelly LeBrock? Remember, remember? Or Hard to I Kill, sorry, that was Scott Claw. Hard Target? Claw, no. <laughs> sex- Cla- yeah, sorry. I sexually harassed her many times. <laughs> Justin's, just, Justin's Seagal is pretty good. <laughs> what are you talking about? He's got a pretty good like, Seagal there. All right, here we go. You just got to act stupid sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> what was that movie with Michael Caine you did, just, just, uh, Steven? Hot oh, damn. <laughs> I always forget that one. Uh, what was it on Deadly Ground? Was that the name? It's, it's the one with the oil tank, right? The oil, the oil tank, uh, the size. The size. Of a tangerine. The size of my That's clock. the second time I forgot that movie. What was it called? It's on Deadly on Ground. On Deadly Ground. On Deadly Grounds. Why can't I remember that because title? I remember the poster. Want it. Your brain wants it out. Get out. Get out of my brain. Oh, man. On Deadly Ground, the sequel to Three Ninjas, Knuckle Up. <laughs> What? <laughs> All right, three ninjas, second. three ninjas knuckle up. They were fighting against uh, people that were trying to uh, take uh, Indian land away. That is the oh, deepest right. cut of them all. <laughs> that is the no. deepest cut of them. You're all. welcome, but everyone. Think, uh, but I think they were half past dead. Oh, uh, that, 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 is, that, is, is that with DMX or Ja Rule? One of those rappers were in there. Half past dead. Yeah, I think that's Ja Rule. Ja, oh, I think that was ja DMX. Rule. Uh, it was Jet Li and I don't know. It was one of these uh, fucking DMX. I think was Exit. Oh, but he wanna go with me. Exit was exit wounds. DMX. That was the, yeah. That was DMX. Exit wounds. Exit wounds. It's only it's only going out through the exit. <laughs> Steven Seagal having sex. Yeah, oh god. Like, oh, a little, man. Left. A little bit this more. Oh man. man. This, yeah, it's this in. is this is definitely hard to kill. <laughs> this is definitely Mark. Your, death. Oh, oh, your <laughs> pussy oh, oh, is baby, you're on ground siege. Right now. <laughs> I'm out for justice. <laughs> <laughs> Cradle to the grave. I don't think I was in that one. <laughs> oh, shit. All right, here we go. Are you ready? <clears throat> oh, I want to take you to the bank. Firm bank. <laughs> what is that from? What is that from? Let's go get some KFC. <laughs> I'm hungry. <laughs> What is I'm gonna take you to the bank? The spirit. What is that from? Oh, it's a blood bank, actually. That's oh, the blood bank. bank. <laughs> it's the blood bank. <laughs> That's when things went down. I'm done. Okay, take you to the sperm bank. <laughs> I'm taking the bank, the sperm bank. <laughs> I think I think that would have been a way better comeback for Senator, no. Senator Trent with something like that. I want to take you to the big center. Oh, I re- that's from Hard to Kill. <laughs> yeah, that was a great kill. line, though. That was a great because they always had that. It had yeah, okay, it's the a part, stupid the, line. The best Are part of that, that yeah. scene is that fucking noise that he goes. Yeah, I'm gonna take you yeah, to the bank, right. Senator Trent. The blood bank. I'm gonna take you back like a blockbuster <laughs> rental. <laughs> doom, 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 doom. <laughs> I gotta, we gotta get a drop of that. Please get me a drop of the. Oh, I'll, I'll, I'll find that for you. Yo, Put that uh, on the soundboard. Give me a drop of that do, that noise. I just want that noise. That do, 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 do. Cause you can but say I anything think... after it. It sounds cool. I'm oh, taking oh, yeah. out the garbage. Do, 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 do. Oh, boy. When I take shits, it's collateral damage. Do, 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 do. <laughs> it's the greatest noise ever. Shit, I wasn't in that movie. <laughs> I was. I was in that movie. <laughs> I was there. Oh no, is that you? That was me. <laughs> I was in collateral damage. <laughs> it's okay. Oh no, how you doing? Oh, I'm so good. I'm good. I uh, I grow a white beard. I'm Santa Claus now. Uh, and you can take that to the bank. The sperm bank. <laughs> 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 
<clears throat> last one. <clears throat> the Detective Pikachu movie will actually be better than people think. <laughs> Drawn comparisons to how the Lego movie surprised everyone. Believable. 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 Or, or, or bullshit. bullshit. I, I still haven't seen I don't the trailer. Know. You haven't seen the trailer for it? Oh, man. I, I know about it. You haven't? I know, I know oh, it exists man. in the it, world. It, it exists. It's there. It's, you know, I, I, a day after I watched that trailer, I was kind of intrigued. Does Ryan it, 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 it like shouldn't be. Like, that's, 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 the movie like shouldn't be. Like there was a lot of like what's when I watched that. I was like, like what, what is why? What? And then like the next day I was like, I want to see it. But you gotta remember, we're the minority. That movie's gonna make a killing. No, DJ, you're the minority. Yeah, yeah. Minority. We're the minority, <laughs> of the minority of the minority of the minority. I'm the super minority. Uh but no, I'm guess because it's fucking Pokemon. You're double secret minority. <laughs> double secret. <laughs> you are the Illuminati. I'm Pop Only the fifty year olds will get that joke. Yes. Uh <laughs> you are double secret minority. <laughs> But no, it's, I, 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 I'm intrigued as beyond. How many times anything, have you almost hit some fucking idiot walking down the street looking for Pokemon with your car? That movie's gonna make a they billion still do dollars. Do that shit though? Huh? Yeah, this is all the fucking time. I don't know. All Pokemon Go was still a thing. I thought it was oh, kind of yeah, still yeah, a thing. Still yeah. a thing, bro. Still a thing. If it's not in America, it, the, the, well, well, and they just released America, the. Uh... It's triple in fucking Asia. It's gonna oh. kill over there. No, because they, they don't they don't do the anything over yeah, there. Exactly. They're, they're not going to be required viewing. They're they're graduate the college with the Pokemon. Well, is this like an is this like a Nintendo production though? Like, I don't know who the fuck is this is movie. Nintendo? It's a Pokemon company. The that devil. Owns. I don't know who the fuck is. Well, Pokemon, Pokemon is Nintendo, isn't it? Nintendo owns Pokemon. Well, Pokemon. No, Punky. Punky. Please correct me if I'm wrong, but Pokemon. The Pokemon has its own company called the Pokemon. Company. Okay. I, th- I thought <laughs> they were still so kind of like associated with. There is an association with. That sounds like a, that's like a yes. company made up. Uh, like, but they're not being run by Nintendo. Okay. That sounds like some place you made up when somebody asks you what you do for a living, and you're like, I, I work for the po- the Pokemon. For the company. Justin. Yeah, yeah, I Pokemon. work for the Pokemon <laughs> Company of America. Come on, I'm putting that on the resume. <laughs> Pokemon Company. I worked there. See I worked there all my life. <laughs> it's a company. What else are you gonna ask? I got a 401k. What the fuck? Pokemon Company. I got a motherfucking 401k here. Yeah, baby. Jigglypuff. <laughs> what? what? <laughs> they tell me where the fucking Pokemon Go are. <laughs> squirtle, Squirtle. I mean, uh, is there going to be a scene where they go to a strip club and there's strip club God, Pokemon? if there was a Jigglypuff oh. dancing on a pole, oh, I would make, I might pay for that. More like Jigglymuff. Jig- <laughs> done. Done. End of segment. <laughs> done. We're done. We're done. <laughs> this has been Believable. 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 Or, or, or Bullshit. 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 Yeah. I can't believe how much bullshit they spewed either. <laughs> Nothing is better than Jiggly Muff. Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> gotta, gotta fuck them all. <laughs> Pokemon! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, uh, <clears throat> TV Roundup, you guys. <laughs> TV Roundup. How do we recover from this? TV right. Roundup. Justin, what have you been watching today? Oh, what have I been watching? What, what haven't have you been watching? What haven't you been watching? Wait a bit. What? What? <laughs> <laughs> you asked, I told. <laughs> well, you know me. I've been watching a lot of Columbo. Of course. <laughs> Still. Still on Columbo. Yeah. When are you moving on to the Rockford Files? Oh, come well, on. You, you don't know nothing about Rockford Files, bro. I was thinking about doing Mission Impossible after this. Ooh. Ooh. Look at this Great. guy. Get a dreams. load of this guy. But what normal people watch, I watched Mr. Uh, Making a Murderer Season 2. Oh. Mm. I started it, but haven't gotten past the first episode yet. Oh, it's good. I can't yeah. watch that show anymore because of American Vandal. It ruined that show for me. <laughs> it reverse really? ruined it. Well, that's just sucky. Because <laughs> it's a good show. Yeah. It's definitely open for a third. I'm just waiting for dicks to be drawn. I'm like, oh, it's not going to happen. Mm. Anybody going to shit dicks themselves? Never no. No, dicks, dicks never came. No, huh? <laughs> dicks never came. Dicks never came. Dicks never came. Dicks never came. Yeah, so that's really all I've been watching. I will be f- starting uh, Patriot. Oh, is that the one with Tom Hardy's wife? No, is no, she she's, in she's, that? She's on another. No, she's on another show. She's on a show called like. No, Rod this is on Amazon Press or some shit like is that. Pa- is Patreon on Amazon? I've been I've been hearing Amazon. about that. 
Yeah, you know, I saw it and it seemed pretty interesting. I watched the trailer for it. It seems interesting. And then I keep hearing people talk about it here and there. I listen to other podcasts. I never listen to this podcast, mm-hmm. but I listen to we other podcasts. podcasts. <laughs> and uh, people have brought it up a few times. And I think that might be my next adventure. So uh, Making a Murderer was great. Press is the just... name of the show with Tom Hardy's wife. It's Press, my fault. Press, yes. Press. So Patriot, uh, Patriot has, uh, what's his face in it? Um, oh fuck! I'm gonna have to Google. Oh fuck! Yeah, he's good. Oh, that's a good actor. Oh fuck! Yeah, yeah, he's he's all over the place. He's, oh fuck! <laughs> that, guy, that guy fucks. He f- uh, what's his name? <laughs> Terry. Terry. Um. Uh, from Lost and uh, Rocketeer. Oh, Terry O'Quinn or whatever from fucking. Oh, yeah, oh, Terry yeah, O'Quinn. Oh, uh, John Locke. Okay. Yeah, John Locke. Terry O'Quinn. Let's okay. see. If only there was a way to. Google. His name is Terry. Trust me, his name is Terry Ter- O'Quinn. Terry O'Quinn. Yeah, he was also in Old School as. Uh, What's her name's yes. uh, Elisha Cuthbert's dad? I heard the Sunshine Square deal was fucked. <laughs> <laughs> There's a pool for you, folks. That's a, another deep cut. Yeah, another deep cut. But this this show's been around since 2015, Ooh. and I have not heard of it until probably the last two months. What's it about again? Uh, intelligence officer. Um, well, maybe I'll check this out. Maybe I'll check because I, I tried to watch Operation to... Condor, but I, it, it, it got boring. So I was like, "Eh, I need another spy show." Well, no. yeah, this might be it for you because, <laughs> from what I heard, it's kind of like a Fargo version Ooh. of uh, I don't know. I don't want to say Jack Ryan, but like, oh, I like Jack Ryan. Jack Ryan wasn't bad. I, I, I like. Yeah, that. but I'm you know I'm, I'm trying to put like a whole bunch in a blender. Mm. I guess is mm. what I see. You, you kind of got that, and then you have uh, what I understand from from podcasts is that it's got a, a very smart. It's a smart comedy, dark. It's got the Breaking Bad feel to it, also a Fargo bad, which is all up our assholes. No, so yeah. that would be something we probably would want to watch. I'm gonna look. So it I'm up. gonna watch it, and I'll let you know. I'm gonna look it up, Matthew. What have you been watching? Uh, let's see. Um, rewatching a lot of Thirty Rock. Um, there's a lot of uh, gay jokes in Thirty Rock. Oh, yes, yes, there and, is. And like, like, <laughs> and basically, like, oh, hey, here's what we think about gay people in the yeah. show, in, in kind of really? a weird way. I don't know. It's kind of like I've never uh, watched it. Thirty? You've never 30, seen Thirty Rock? 30 Rock? Uh, never watched Thirty. Wow. Season three and season four. Well, Will Arnett plays back. gay version of like Alec Baldwin is Alec Baldwin yes. kind of. He and plays and a gay Will version. Plays of Alec gay version I of Alec Baldwin. Baldwin. <laughs> Oh, it's, it's 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 it's. There's some good jokes. It's, it's, he's always it's trying funny, to fuck Jack McBriar. That's the, like the running theme of that. Uh, yeah, he he character. wants to he, like, he wants to fuck Alec Baldwin the entire time. It's it's pretty funny. No, he wants it's to fuck Jack McBriar. All complex. The time. Oh, I don't know. He wants to fuck everybody. <laughs> he's like, I'm gonna flog you like I got flogged at the Lexington flogging. Vet. And there's some weird <laughs> shit going on. Isn't that the, but the, so? The, Will Arnett that, wants to fuck. Alec Baldwin. Yes, he does. Yeah, pretty much. Yes, <laughs> you got me sold. There's a, there's a lot of uh, sexual tension between the two of them, but it's done very very well. It's done tasteful. But what's with the gay thing? Is it is it too gay? Is it funny no, gay? Is it a little like hmm? This dated is gay. Now it's kind of like it's, it's, gay it's, it's poking fun at gay people. It's kind of like ah, you're gay. Right. They're people too. They are people. You know, but <laughs> they're, nah. people, they're people with voices. I heard they are people. Feelings. Mm-hmm. And uh, why would you poke fun? Isn't there because. an episode where James Franco has a love pillow in that? Show? Yes, which is fucking hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> it's a Japanese body pillow named Japanese Tomito. body pillow. That's what I. Re- I think that's the last episode. And basically, episode. Uh, him and uh, Tina Fey have a three-way with the body pillow, or it's, yes, at least it's, which... it's implied. While that's her a... gay cousin is in the other room, who she outs on the show mm-hmm. in front of the family. She gets drunk, outs him in front of the family. Well, that's not right. He moves to New York. And oh. basically makes jokes about sucking men's dicks at the bus station. Will Arnett. No, no, this is another episode. This is another gay guy. <laughs> this this is another, gay guy I'm guy. already confused. <laughs> Get your yeah. This, 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 this. Okay. When does the Walmart truck come into play? That's next episode. <laughs> that's on the reboots. That's when they do another season. Uh, that's 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 the that's the one that happens to uh, Tracy Jordan or oh Tracy yeah. Morgan. Walmart truck and limousines can't make fun of that either. So. 
Nope. Uh, what else? Uh, Homecoming. I'm almost done with oh, that. Oh, yes. That's, that's pretty good. I, I like good that. Show. It's taking you this long to watch Spider-Man Homecoming? No, <laughs> you fuck. I, 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 do, I, I do it in pieces. I do it in, in five minutes. Spider-Man five minutes got extra. the suit on. I'm done. <laughs> Finally got the suit. See you next week. See you next week. <laughs> See you next week. <laughs> See you next week, True Believer. True Believer. What will he do with that suit? Excelsior. Uh. Uh, what else? Oh, um, fuck. What else? I was watching something else. Oh, so I was watching some Match Game 76. Ooh. Match Game is fucking hilarious. I th- I and stolen from Match game. What's Match Game? Here's a little look behind the curtain, guys. Most of the games we do on the Simplicity Reviews podcast are stolen from 70s game shows. So I'm trying oh, to remember. Yes. Have we stolen from Match Game? <laughs> I can't remember. We haven't yet, but I sure. think we need to. Mm. Why not? Like, Old Mother Hubbard went to the cupboard to get her dog a blank. Ooh, a bone. Doom, 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 a penis. A penis. A P.I. Wachowski. Yes. A wiener schnitzel. A wiener schnitzel. A wiener schnitzel. A wiener schnitzel. Match Game is fucking wonderful. Please so watch like, Match Game. Is that on Netflix? Because I know the people uh, are like, it's on Amazon. Amazon has a lot of Jeopardy on Netflix. Right now. Amazon so has just... fucking Jeopardy. They have Press Your Luck. No, they de- have... Netflix has Jeopardy. Both of them have Jeopardy. Oh, Jeopardy. they do. Okay. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Amazon does also. So you're 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 in luck, folks. How the fuck? I mean, where are you in your life when you're like, you know what? I'm gonna throw in a 30 year episode of Jeopardy. <laughs> I just want to see if I remember if I remember all the uh, questions correctly. It's like, oh, this I is the year when Alex I, had a mess. I invite friends over. I'm like, guys, I know all the answers. <laughs> like, you watch Jeopardy? Smart. Like, it's want to bet on it? <laughs> hey, you, bet? hey, you want to bet on this 1987 uh, episode of Jeopardy? No, I memorized. <laughs> you fuck. <laughs> I'm down. I'll bet. <laughs> yeah, hell yeah. Let's bet. I like to live risky. dangerous. <laughs> but um, yeah, Homecoming's pretty good. Homecoming is like uh, Homecoming. Sam Esmail, the creator yeah. of Mr. Robot, did this show with Julia Roberts called Homecoming, which I Homecoming is literally Mr. Robot training wheels. So if you don't like Mr. Robot, watch Homecoming. Yeah, this is. And a... then I think you'll get into Mr. Robot. It's a, it's a very it's like a light version of what Sam Esmail <laughs> does. Oh yeah, because Mr. Robot's very. Dance and he's like holy whole bunch of shit going on. Homecoming's like holding your hand a, a, a How's lot. Julia, say again. How's Julia? In that? She's really good. She's, she's it, actually the, watchable. What's it? What's his name? Is really Bobby Cannavale is fucking Surprising. great on oh, that show. Yeah. They're both really good. Like when they work together, yeah. they're very good together. So and, the, and I I can't remember the name of the actor who the the the, the uh, black guy. Black I forget his, yeah, he's really good. I've never yeah, seen him before. Good. Shay Wigman's really good. Shay Wigman's Shay, always fucking. Yo, good. he's the shit. I That's just watched first. Uh, I just watched First Man like two days ago, and Shay Wigman's in there. And I didn't know he was in there. I was like, oh man, this guy needs to be in more shit. He's he so plays good. Like, supporting every- white guy. He's like he's like great character actor guy. <laughs> he is. He he was he's even good at Sicario for a minute, even though Sicario oh. too sucked. He was good. He in only Sicario. has that one scene with Brol. I'm like, I, dude, yeah. I want more with Shay Wigman. Yeah, it's the best part of that movie. <laughs> that movie is not good. Where's the war at, Mexico? In my pants. <laughs> Sicario 2, a really bad movie. Yeah. Day of the Cock. Day of the Cock. Uh, Homecoming. I see, what, 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 what have you been watching, you little fuck? I saw Homecoming. I saw the the Ballad of Buster Scruggs, which is not a TV show, yeah. but it was on Netflix. I, th- I feel like watch- you could watch that movie in pieces and watch like a television show. Yeah, because it's like an, antho- an anthology, pretty much. Uh I, I I I loved it like the first like I I think I texted you guys like when I was halfway through I was like oh god this is the shit and I was like oh wait there's stuff in the middle that's kind of you know and now there's this big you know the big controversy not controversy but the thing is hey what's your favorite segment on the Ballad of Buster Scruggs oh mine's the the meal what? ticket one oh why you like the meal? that's well, the whole fucking between thing. you two I really want to watch it now it I mean. It's good. The it's Ballad good. of Buster Scruggs, the first segment, is that's why I thought the whole movie was gonna be. That's when I texted you. I was like, "This is the sh- this is all this is old school Coen Brothers." It's like, it's like Twenty it minutes ends, in, it's like, "Oh no, oh no, <laughs> going somewhere else." No, go back to that. I could have watched a whole movie about that oh, character. Really? It's it's so awesome, but it's like only, it's, it's only like maybe eight minutes long. How long is that segment? Fifteen minutes the long? First, maybe the first segment. The first yeah, segment yeah. is about twenty minutes. Yeah, it, it, the it, movie's you know, like the, the movie's like two hours and twelve minutes, so it's a pretty yeah. long movie. 
it felt so quick because that character is so uh, the guy the guy who plays um uh, he's in a whole bunch of Coen Brothers shit. He was in Old Brother. He, he was in Pope, yeah. Uh, See, that's the only like, reason why yeah. I still have Netflix because that's what's really great about when you give mm-hmm. these really creative people pretty much 100 percent control that's why i loved yeah. hbo hbo was doing that first when they were like yeah, do yeah they were you want, they were they you still want. you know somewhat are doing that mm-hmm. but with netflix from my understanding from what i hear and read it's they really just say go for it mm-hmm. go we for don't it care. Go. and it's hit and miss oh it, yeah it, it can be but yeah when you have a, a ton of selections of that, it's you can pick, and that's that's good. Other than you know, there's only four or five. It's like the early days of Amazon uh, yeah, Video. Yeah. You know, there was only a few uh, on there. They got pick um, the that's what's nice. You have a whole bunch of different little shows like that because otherwise it sucks. <laughs> this is this is the best Netflix original movie in a while. It's a not while. even a movie. I mean, it's, it's not even a movie. It's it's a movie in the abstract of like, oh yeah, it's a two hour thing, but. Is it two no. hours? Or is it more than two hours? It's like two hours and change, two twelve. Yeah. Yeah, it's okay. like because I was gonna say something like that wouldn't work. Probably, you know, the studio would say, "Hey, you got to come." Oh, this would, to... this could never come out in the theater. It, this, no, this, that's this the what way I like. It's structured, yeah, they can never yeah. do that. That's what I like. It's like yeah. you mean there's stories in a story. Stories in a story. Wait, wait. There's, I don't get it. it. It's our nation. This is studio computer. heads would probably be like me. Like, go back to that Buster Scruggs guy. Yeah, man, Buster Scruggs, <laughs> cool, right? You like him? Go we'll go back to him. He's great. Uh, why, why, the, why does America sound like this? Oh, wait. Because <laughs> America is this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's why. Hey, $20 is $20. <laughs> oh, boy. All right. Uh, let's take a little break, and then we'll uh, play a game. He brings the popcorn. She brings the roses. <sighs> Subject Cinema. A tasty new film topic each week with a side order of film reviews. Yum. T.C. Kirkham. But I'm Jim. Kim Brown. What? Over half a million listeners, and you could be the next one. Subjectcinema.com. Real movies for real people. This is Miscast Entertainment with your hosts, William Davis Moore, Greg, and JJ. Every week, these misfits will make it their mission to bring you irreverent entertainment reviews, entertainment news, gaming videos, film-inspired food and drinks, fun facts, and more. Now, get your ass over to YouTube so you can absorb this shite into your brain meat through your eyeballs. We are Miscast Entertainment, and we are here to amuse you. Sometimes the best way to switch gears is mismatching careers. It's Simplistic Switcheroo. Simplistic Switcheroo, a game where we are given two actors and we decide which actor could do the other's career mm. better. Are you guys ready? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Easy. yeah, definitely. Robert De Niro. Robert Downey Jr. Hmm. Robert Downey Jr. Robert De Niro or Robert Downey Jr. <sighs> Both on it's a tough on. one. A tough one out the box because I don't think Robert Downey Jr. could do anything in Goodfellas. But Robert Downey Jr. is awesome, so I don't know. Well, he is. No one, no DJ. Nobody's saying he is. He's pretty awesome, but he's got like too. He's too quirky for like a gangster. What's the comedy movie that he's done? Kiss Kiss Bang Bang. Name. Kiss, yeah. kiss Kiss Bang Bang. <laughs> it's the first I mean, one that pops in my brain. Could you see Robert Downey Jr. Tro- Tropic Month? Thunder is another one. Can you, you see? Can you see Charles Grodin and Robert Downey Jr. together? Oh, Midnight Run with Robert Downey yeah. Jr. I can yeah. see that. I can see that. I don't. I can't see Robert Downey. Ju- I can't see Robert De Niro as fucking Iron Man. That that, that doesn't work oh, for me. Uh, Look at me, I'm Iron. Hey, man. hey, hey, Peppa, get over here. Well, well here's the thing. You gotta <laughs> suck. Put, you gotta put dick. it in the. <laughs> 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 but would you put like okay? Look uh, a little defensive, Cap. Cap, you look a little defi- little bit, a little bit. A little bit, a little, 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 little defensive, Cap. You see, it's like, see the circle? You're out of the circle. You take your ass to Chinatown. <laughs> you know what? I. What about Robert? Hey, under roofs, come here. Robert Downey Jr. <laughs> Robert Downey Jr. in Heat? I don't think that would work. Uh, that doesn't work. I don't think so. I don't think that <laughs> works, man. There's, I mean, you got to think of like. I can't oh, see him talking about milk in his nipples either. No, yeah. okay. <laughs> it's like. Hey, uh, hey, uh, hey, because uh, Robert Downey Jr. always sounds like he's chewing gum, so you gotta do like, yeah, yeah. I got nipples, right? You think he can melt? He's too smarmy. He's too smarmy. He's too smarmy. He's too smarmy. I love his smarminess. I love it. Good thing. Yeah. 
Cool. But maybe, you maybe. know, and you insulted him a little bit. You insulted you, him a little bit. Can you see Robert De, Robert De Niro as Sherlock Holmes? Mm, maybe. <sighs> I mean, maybe. I like heroin. I like heroin now. I like a little bit of heroin. <laughs> We're not saying anything bad about him. Can you see Robert De Niro went back to school? <laughs> yep. Lutz. <laughs> But, but would you put okay? Would, yep. it be, would it be Robert De Niro the same age as Robert Downey Jr.? Young, like we're talking about in raging that. bull De Niro, and even like, younger than that. Because how old was fucking uh, Downey Jr. and back to school? Like probably twenty one. Oh fuck, he's probably twenties. Yeah, twenties, twenty threes, maybe. Yeah, so that's the thing you gotta. I think De Niro. I, I think really this. Know. I think De Niro can do more things. No, De- Downey Jr. is versatile as fuck. I just he's just. He's got the smarmy he's down. Hold, this game sucks. Hold, it's hard. Yeah. Did you Robert De Niro on blackface? <laughs> I mean, well, I have actually seen that. Yeah. I have, that was yeah. that was Tuesday. Uh, all right, here we go. Next one. <laughs> Next one. That's that's why I only dates black women. <laughs> <laughs> Not anymore. Here we go. You gotta have standards. Mm-hmm. Pally Shore, Paul Newman. Oh, this is easy. Oh, but it's. Ah, 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 it's me. The Butch Cassidy. <laughs> hey, buddy, the fall hey, kill you, buddy. buddy. Hey, buddy, <laughs> hey, buddy want to jump off this cliff, buddy? <laughs> we only remember fucking Butch Cassidy. <laughs> I'm going Paul Newman, 100%. <laughs> Paul Newman and Encino Man. Is that is he? Oh, man. Paul Sugar is an Encino Man, right? Paul Newman you never gave him class the act. <laughs> <laughs> Do your Paul, Paul Newman, Newman impersonation, law. which is essentially a man grumbling. Yeah, he's a. <laughs> Uh, Polly Shore and Polly Shore in the Color of Money with Tom Cruise. I'd watch the fuck out of that though. That might be actually entertaining. That would be great. Tom Cruise bouncing off a of Polly Shore. It'd be a fucking like Coke fest. What's a, what's another big Paul Newman movie? Uh, Road to Perdition. You, okay, how about this? Here, here you go. Imagine seeing <laughs> Polly Shore's face on a thing of salad dressing. Oh, that would be, I'm not eating that shit. <laughs> Look at I. <laughs> We don't know where that sauce came from. Yeah, you don't know where that's coming from. I, we, okay, we, somebody needs to put that That's thing a guy who would it. jerk off in your uh, uh, yeah, definitely. dress. <laughs> definitely. It's, like, oh, it's creamy, buddy. <laughs> it's because I jerked off in it. <laughs> well, I can't see Paul Newman going, buddy. buddy. <laughs> Hanging out with Spuds McKenzie. <laughs> I can. <laughs> Justin, you always can. Paul Newman and jury duty. <laughs> Oh no! Oh no! Imagine, Wait, imagine. All he wasn't. He wasn't. He wasn't. What was that called? The trial or what the fuck? Is that in the movie where he punched that woman in the face. Paul Newman was in a movie where he punches a woman in the face in the movie. The verdict. The verdict. That's the verdict. It. Yeah. Was that the one? He punches was, was a woman the, in the face. I can imagine. And Paul it was. It was a serious face. film. <laughs> he was the hero. That's a serious punch for a serious film. <laughs> it wasn't like Wicker Man, man. This was like, for real, like. Because she betrayed him, so he punched her and knocked her the fuck out. Like, yo, what the fuck? Paul Newman has punched that woman. <laughs> I mean, when you really get down to it, it's I, mean, I, I, uh, I, you, ha- you got to go, Polly Shore. Are you? Ki- are you? you <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he's gonna be the first. Someone's gonna, <laughs> someone's gonna come after us if you put Paul I Shore. Really Paul. All I can think about is his face on the salad dressing bottle. Yeah, I, I, I keep thinking of the color of money. That's all I want to see. It's color of money with fucking Paulie Shore. <laughs> It's like definitely a, a Blu-ray extra that you. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> We've digitally right, one. placed in Pauly Shore. <laughs> <laughs> He's spent a good fifty million dollars to do this. What have we done? All right, next one. Bill Murray, Bill Shatner. Ooh, ooh, Bill, Bill Murray. Murray, Murray the cap- one's captain, fucking Kirk. talented. One's not. Oh, oh. What are you, who are you shitting on now, Bill Murray? <laughs> I'll never say. Oh, never tell. Fuck. He'll never tell. You'll have to find out on the next episode. Yeah. Dun, 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 you have dun, to dun, listen dun. to December's episode. Same oh. Simplistic Reviews channel. <laughs> Same Simplistic Reviews time. <laughs> do, 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 do. I think Bill Murray could do Denny Crane, but I don't know if he could do Captain Kirk. I can't take him seriously. I mean, Chris Pine did Captain Kirk. Well, Chris Pine ain't Bill fucking Murray. <laughs> it's not hard to do. <laughs> it's not hard to do. I it's really not stuck in space with this alien man. You can see Bill Shatner in fucking Ghostbusters. Uh, well, I mean that's that's the thing. It's like no, I can see Bill Shatner in Groundhog Day. I can't see him in Ghostbusters. I can't see Bill Shatner anywhere. <laughs> you don't like? Am I the only? Shatner and a lot Shatner? of people can't when Bill they're behind Shatner, him. Yeah, he's a big <laughs> fat fucking ass. <laughs> Wow, I thought you he, guys liked Shatner. 
He's fine. Oh yeah, we like him. Yeah, we like him. We like the shadow all over him. <laughs> he killed his wife. Next one. He, <laughs> he well, did. Yeah. Could you imagine Bill Murray killing his wife? Uh <laughs> And he's the only person that listens to this podcast. Yes. I'm sorry, Bill. I'm sorry, Bill. You'll never know which Bill I'm talking about, but I'm no. sorry. Next one. <clears throat> Tim Curry. Tim Allen. Is this Tim Curry when he... Yeah, is this no, no. Bill this Curry? is young Tim Curry. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> this is Don't darkness. go there. This is darkness, Tim Curry. Darkness. I think... I think young Tim Curry had a lot of ounce of talent in that. Hey, Woody. Yeah. <laughs> hey, yo, uh, Woody. To infinity and beyond. Uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> but can Tim Curry sell dope? Oh, ho, 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 ho. Tim Allen, a convicted dope seller. <laughs> but does Tim Allen Now he makes tons of money on kids. Right. <laughs> Could you see Tim Curry on Home Improvement saying, like, more power, more power. <laughs> more power. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he, yeah, he does a lot of grunts and everything. Tim Curry's versatile, man. He, he's he played a, he's played a clown. He's played, played a transvestite. The, the devil. He's and now oh, he's been playing the Tim same Allen as fucking Dr. Frankenfurter? No. Yeah. You want to no. see Tim Allen in drag, bro? Yeah, man. I well, I don't know, maybe I do now. Yeah, bro. <laughs> I don't, yeah, bro. You want to see that guy's dick? It's like, I don't know, maybe. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah man. Show that dick. <laughs> you want to see Tim Allen bang Brian Boxletter? <laughs> Whatever his name is. <laughs> Billy Brian Cleveland Boxletter? The What's the name of the guy? <laughs> Not <Rockmore>. Brian Boxletter. <laughs> what the fuck Brian Boxletter has been some That's shit. That's I'm sorry. Wrong guy. <laughs> Brian... Bosworth? Brian Bosworth? Bo no, no, that's not Brian Bosworth. That's a football player. Kate? Uh, Is it Kate Bosworth? <laughs> no, 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 no. Whatever happened to her? That's a stick. That's <laughs> she a made Superman Returns. Oh, that's come on. Give her a break. <laughs> give her a sandwich. She's <laughs> give her a Kit Kat oh. break. <laughs> give her a sandwich. Jesus well, she's better Christ. than Amy Adams, you know? She's, she's translucent. Uh, I don't know. Ooh. I think I'm going to go. I am think I'm going Tim Curry here. Just because I, I've seen Tim Curry do multiple things. <laughs> Tim, Tim Curry is pretty, pretty good. We, we, he is. Nicole and I did watch Legend the other day. That movie's fucking weird. I told you, man, I can't fuck with that movie. You know that this, movie is that fucking movie weird, brain, bro. I can't see Tim Curry as a devil. I, it, it fucks my brain. It scared the shit it's, out of me. But he bro. was. He was the devil. He was the devil. He Tim Curry in the, the Santa Claus. Do you see Tim devil. Curry giving you gifts? That'd be great. Yeah. He has. Yes, he has. The That's gift true. of acting. It's called Congo. All right, next <laughs> one. Absolutely <laughs> true. Uh -huh, You're touching my uh -huh, sesame cake. Uh -huh. All right. Ben Stiller. Ben Kingsley. Tim Curry almost was the Joker, by the way. Man, great. Oh, that would have been great. What, what a world he would have been in. Holy fuck. Anyway, Ben Stiller, Ben Damn, Kingsley. Be ben Stiller banged Bing King. <laughs> ben Chris. What? Ben, ben Stiller, Stiller bang Bing Crosby. <laughs> ben Stiller, Ben Kingsley. Ben Stiller, Ben Kingsley. Uh, you see well, Ben Stiller as Gandhi. <laughs> I mean, you can't go straight to yeah, that. You can't I go do, through the 100. Yeah, why not? Yeah. <laughs> you just gave up. <laughs> I just quit. <laughs> I don't know. Well, fuck it. Uh, fuck it. I mean, can you see Ben Kingsley in Mystery Men? Is he in Mystery Men? He might be. Yeah, I think he might no, be in no, that movie. West, <laughs> West Studi is in Mystery Men. Oh. Really? West Studi. Who did it better? West Studi or Ben Kingsley? I have no frame of reference on this. I can, oh, <laughs> we have ben. no proof. <laughs> yeah. Who played a Native American better? Well, Ben Kingsley. Like West Studi's like, what, I am? I, I actually <laughs> am a Native. Hey, guys, guys. <laughs> I am Native American. <laughs> guys. Hey, hello. hello. I'm here. Please. I'm right here. Hey, You're here, folks. Got a, got a paper right here. Um, can you? The, uh, what was this? What's Kingsley's name in Schindler's List? Ben Stiller oh. is that role? I mean, I guess it'd be a Jew playing a Jew, it'd be fine. <laughs> uh, the list is life. It's like, it's like hey, uh, Stiller's hey, uh, hey, really Oscar. Bad. I mean, this list is life. <laughs> you see Ben Kingsley in Reality Bites? <laughs> oh God! <laughs> see him with Ethan Hawke is like Cable Guy. Oh. Well, no, who's, who's in Cable Guy? Is, is he, it, di no. he, he directed? He directed. Cable I guy. always think he's in. Could it, but Ben he Kingsley it. direct Cable Guy? Ben Kingsley and there's something about Mary. <laughs> Come on his ear. <laughs> <laughs> he can't do the gel know. scene though. It won't work because he has no hair. That's yeah, true. He could, yeah, he couldn't. Yeah, he's true. got a disability. Yeah, he's, yeah. Missing, he's, he's follically challenged. <laughs> like, I, I mm. thought it was the Franks above the Bates. Ben Stiller in Sexy Beast. <laughs> I don't think that works either. Sure. 
No. I mean, why, why not? not? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> why not? <laughs> Fun. You win. Ben Stiller wins. All right, next but one. Ben Stiller did it better. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> sorry, Sir Bing. Uh, Kingsley. Uh, sorry. <laughs> sorry, sorry, Sir Ben. Michael B. Jordan. Michael J. Fox. Could you uh, see? Michael J. Fox. Michael B. Jordan as Teen Wolf. Michael B. Jordan as Marty McFly. Ooh, God. No, I don't, I don't see it. Michael J. Fox as Creed? <laughs> that I see. <laughs> Michael J. Fox as Killmonger? <laughs> sure. Why not? Why not? In Chad fact, was... I believe it was the deleted scene. Oh, Shaggy yeah. Bozeman just can't handle it. I was like, wait a minute, this guy this keeps moving. I can't. It's too fast. <laughs> <laughs> no wonder Black Panther the wasn't able to beat him. <laughs> Guys, it's okay. We can make this joke because Michael J. Fox made this joke on Curb Your Enthusiasm. Yeah, he did. I mean, he made fun of himself. <laughs> he made fun of himself on Curb Your Enthusiasm. So, it, so everything's on the table now. Yes. Literally, he made a joke about the table where he was yeah. trying to bang yeah. something on the floor. With, <laughs> with, with his Timberland boots. Timberland boots. <laughs> oh, Just look I, it up. Uh... Uh, so you think Michael J. Fox's Killmarker works, huh? All right. Well. <laughs> hey, we yeah. Uh, hey, hey, Auntie. <laughs> <laughs> Deep <laughs> cut. <laughs> Hey, uh, uh, that's, like, that's like the best line of the movie. That might be the, one of the bad. best lines in Black Panther. Hey, auntie. <laughs> that movie sucks except for that part. I know Matt hated that movie, but when he heard hey, auntie, he was oh, all I was like, I'm in. in. I'm back in. <laughs> He's in. <laughs> Gotta watch it again. Man, man, this movie is so African. It's like, oh, that's it. Right that's there. it. I'm back. I'm back. We're back. back. We're back. You got me back. You got me. You put me back. You won me in. over. You won me over. All right. Over. Next one. Bull Farrell. Will Smith. Yeah. 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 This, this is, is this harder than I think? This is a little bit more interesting. It's tough. And you got to remember, in Bad Boys, it was originally going to be Dana Carvey and John Lovett. So there it is precedent was. for Will Ferrell it being was, Mike yeah, Lowry. Yes. yes. I mean, I want to say Will Ferrell, but I don't want to sound racist. <laughs> is this a trick question? It's a trick. Will Ferrell on Independence Day? Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, no. Why not? Uh, maybe Fire the pilot? I, I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. Anything's possible. Will Smith was an Anchorman. He was an Anchorman was. too. Sorry, the second. The second. That, that's like that's like a paradox right there. Though. Oh yeah, we opened up a void. <laughs> Technically, it's the third one. Is it the third one? Oh yeah, because of the fuck. Yeah, yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. Uh, All right. Yeah, yeah. You're so you right. get it right. You got to get your shit correct right, here. You're right. You can see you're, you can see Will Ferrell. There's in, technically uh, three. Anchorman Will Ferrell and seven pounds. Will Ferrell and seven pounds would probably be better. Uh, Will Ferrell has done some serious. Yeah, yeah. He I has. Work. Um, I mean, you could say. I mean, you could say the other guys was pretty much a bad boys film with white people. It was. It was a bad boys. Yeah, it was. Yeah. With Mark Wahlberg. Yeah. So he could. It so was. He, the, could, he it, could easily it was the, do bad boys. The, yeah, it was the master race version of bad boys. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like this Will Smith and Martin Lawrence. I want more you white Bostonians. Black cops. <laughs> there are no black I'm cops. for our women. <laughs> That's why they killed fucking Samuel Jackson the Rock in the first two. Yeah, minutes. they're like, you mean get some these, more of a black man here? <laughs> get oh, this wow. black man out of my film. Uh, <laughs> when did Adam McKay become like, like Heinrich Himmler? I don't know. Like, <laughs> when he made he Vice. Became, when did <laughs> when did Adam McKay become Goebbels? <laughs> After the Big Short, you I mean, he spread lies and propaganda. I think Will Ferrell wins this easily. I'm th I'm trying to think of like what would Will Smith do that the Will Fresh Ferrell Prince can't... of Bel Air with, with Will... Will Ferrell. I'd watch that. Yeah, but I don't think Will Ferrell like Will Smith. I don't think can go as crazy. Yeah, he can't do as zany. He can't. Ferrell. Do... Yeah, but Ferrell could also go pretty serious. serious. He can go serious, he like go Smith in... has. Yeah, it's true. It's there's a range. You would watch there. the fuck out of a Men in Black with Will Ferrell. You know you would. Yeah. Well, why not? I mean, yeah. You, Will you, Ferrell I think is he Muhammad might, Ali. He could. In he could have saved. He could have saved Wild Wild West. He could have done it. He, he could have. He, he could have been the one. Him and Ted Danson. Oh. 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 <laughs> okay. Next. One. In black. Oh, yeah. <laughs> next one. <laughs> Moving on. That was a thing. <laughs> Moving on. Hugh Jackman. Hugo Weaving. Uh, see what you did there. This Hugo is a, Weaving. Ooh, this is this is actually Hugo Weaving as Wolverine. Too. My word, he was. He, yeah, they were both combo but characters. Wolverine's a big. Uh, yeah, I'm not uh, gonna get into it. I think Hugh Jackman couldn't do Agent Smith because Agent Smith, he's not a. He, Hugh Jackman's too likable. I couldn't yeah. see him. As a it's like he doesn't Hugo. have that. Go, yeah. Hugo's got his name with a Hugo in it. Yeah, Hugh Jackman as Red Skull. 
Uh, he's too likable. He's too like. He like, doesn't like, have that look. He doesn't have that killer instinct. The, the, the most shitty Hugh, Hugh Jackman's ever been is know. in The Prestige. I think it's the only time he's I been feel asshole. Hugh Jackman is Hugh Jackman in every movie. Yeah. Or Hugo yeah, he's always Hugh is a character. Yes. Hmm. Yeah. It's yeah, just, you know I'm right, motherfucker. You know, motherfucker. I think I don't know. I think the biggest stretch would be young Wolverine for Hugo Weaving, but he could damn Plus, sure do Logan. Hugo Weaving you know, could have done Logan. If you're easy. good friends with the Trumps, you know that's. I'm pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going with Hugo. Oh, Hugo. Oh, Hugo I'm Weaving. Gonna weave your life. Hugo into this one. Hugh Jackman. Mm, he couldn't do Elrond. No, no, he's just too likable. He's always smiling. Yeah. Yeah. Except for these wolves. He's like a guy, though, that you find out has like a basement full of children. Yeah. yeah. Don't you, like you the, think, you like Jackman? The like, yeah. there's something too. There's something a little too kosher with Hugh Jackman. That hurt my heart when I found out he was friends with the Trumps. That hurt my heart. You broke Wait, my heart. Is, is he? He's still a friend now, currently. I think so. Oh yes, yes. <laughs> I believe so. Well, yes. With all with all the Trumps. All the Trumps, bro. Oh. I'm sure yeah, you're with one. You're with all. You're all yeah. I've, I've heard they must have been doing a very good job of hiding this news because I don't know anything about. It. Ah. Stay away, bro. I'm just Disagree. Make it it's it just everywhere. makes you sadder. <laughs> That's did, all it when is. Did, when, when was this made? Like uh, the weeks days? ago. Maybe two Wait. weeks ago. Yeah. Peter Weller. Peter Dinklage. Peter Dinklage, Peter Weller. Robocop? Mini, mini Robocop. <laughs> Dead or short, you're coming with me. <laughs> <laughs> it writes itself. <laughs> mini, I want to see Mini Robocop. <laughs> I want to see Peter Weller in fucking Game of Thrones as the fucking imp. That will work. Oh, too. Okay. But. Okay, oh, man. God, this I isn't really fair. want to see a RoboCop 4 where he gets a mini RoboCop. <laughs> <laughs> RoboCop, we got your new partner. <laughs> Drop like, it. where is he? I can't... Oh, oh, <laughs> where oh, is he? Oh. <laughs> RoboCop mini. <laughs> mini cop, get in the car. <laughs> it's like, hold on, I need a step stool. To <laughs> oh. Oh, oh, I made the jokes. I'm sorry. Um, I... <laughs> I, I can't even. You can't even answer this one. This is dumb. I'm, 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 I'm trying to put my head around this, and I have to just so drop it. <laughs> drop it. <laughs> just, just, let's drop it. The good thing about dropping is that you can just pick it up really easy. This is Ed negative 201. <laughs> <laughs> He's 200. <laughs> And nine feet shorter <laughs> than Ed 209. <laughs> I work for Dick Jones. I mean, hold on. Where are you? Oh, hey, I work for Dick Jones. <laughs> this has been Simplistic Switcheroo. The Freaky Friday of Hector Filmographies. Okay, Matthew, give everybody your information. <laughs> Fucking hell. What a way to throw it up against out. the wall, motherfucker. Throwing this shit up against the wall right here. Oh, boy. Give the man a hand. Uh, give the man some legs. Um, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> what do I call anyway. you? Let's go ahead. Uh, <laughs> so, <laughs> once again, this was the final episode of the Simplistic Reviews Podcast. <laughs> it's After it's you over. Hear this it's one, over. we'll all be dead. Every day. We inch closer and closer to it. Ever, it's ever, right so, ever. And so you can take that politically if you like, or you could just take. Well, the fact is, we live to die. You could take that to the bank. The blood buy bank. That for a the sperm <laughs> bank. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is this. Nice this <laughs> well, this is the simplest screen podcast. Do, 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 do. You could download the podcast anywhere where podcasts can be downloaded. <laughs> you can check out the website at simpliskreviews.net. You can check out all the antics on Twitter. Come on. <laughs> it's in a hand. It's in a handle. Well, I was Wait waiting that hand- for after that that we were going to do that. Uh- well, at... At simple tweeters or at trying to be DJB or at cheese at magic or go to Facebook where there's nothing 
that's not fake news on Facebook. <laughs> but if you want real news, you go to Simplistic Reviews on Facebook. <laughs> I finally found my if place on this podcast. Finally, finally. Justin's in his wheelhouse now. You are the do 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 guy. <laughs> do 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 do. You can also go to Instagram to see funny photos at Simply Gramming. I fucking give up. Fuck <laughs> it. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, we're we're distracted. Sorry. <laughs> Yeah, go, to, to, go to Twitch like, and sometimes we stream. Leave us an email at Spotify. At, contact at simpliscreviews.net if you want to email us. Go to Spotify. Spotify is the I, newest one, right? Well, it's the newest one, yeah. I think it's the best one, honestly. But anyway, you listen to podcast. It's there. It's right there. The great thing about Spotify is it gets the album covers all correct. Ooh. Where nice. iTunes is just like, you get one. <laughs> just Cook, one Tim Cook doesn't give a fuck anymore no you know who else doesn't give a fuck anymore uh, Jeff Bezos because he said Amazon's going to die soon <laughs> there well, can only be one <laughs> well for uh, Peter Weller and uh, Senator Trent uh, I'm Detective Pikachu saying I'm going to make a billion dollars yeah. <laughs> I'm going to make so much fucking money your kids are going to take you Every goddamn day. <laughs> Drop it. Drop it. <laughs> <laughs> please go to the nearest rape crisis center. <laughs> Pikachu, please go to the nearest rape crisis center. <laughs> that Detective Pikachu with Robocop? That's, oh, that's who Peter Dick was playing. <laughs> Man, we love Robocop here on the, on the show. Oh, God. Jesus Christ. He shot that guy in the dick. <laughs> I did shoot him in the dick. That's how I roll. <laughs> That's because he was out of reach. <laughs> Mini Did Robocop reporting for duty, sir. His name's now Stumpy. <laughs> this Simplistic Reviews podcast reminds you to drink responsibly. Except if you're depressed because you just got dumped after a six year relationship or fired from your job with less warning than the Hiroshima bomb or beaten up by that guy who took your parking spot who you thought you could take or maybe just because you really wanna alcohol tastes good especially with fruit juices for some reason it also helps you tolerate the assholes around you and dulls the overwhelming pain and agony created by sober crippling reality this podcast is a proud member of the Lamb Podcasting Network Find the network at largeassmovieblogs.com. You know what else is good? Pure black tar heroin. You really want to obliterate the shroud of darkness enveloping your torturous car fire of a life? Stick a little bit of that black dragon in your veins. What's the worst that could happen? Money now and a lot more when I get in that office. You can take that to the bank. I'm going to take you to the bank, Senator Trent. To the blood bank. <laughs>